everyone, me again, welcome back to X Amelia X. So today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have requested and that is my perfume collection. So I'm going to be showing you all the perfumes that I've got that normally live behind me on my beauty shelf there and uh, share with you the fragrances that I love to wear every day. So it wasn't until about two years ago that I really properly got into perfume. Before that I was wearing CK, oh no, Calvin Klein Escape. And I used to wear it for years and years and years. It was a perfume that mum gave me and that was just my signature scent. And it wasn't until I was in the airport on the way to the south of France one year and I saw this, which is you want to use Angel or Demon, smelt it and just fell in love with it that my passion for perfume really kind of reignited and since then I've got quite a lot. So I'll try and rattle through them really quickly so you can see what I've got. Um, but this is probably my go-to scent nowadays. I don't tend to wear the Calvin Klein one anymore. Um, this is Angel or Demon The Secret. There are a few different ones that Givenchy do in the Angel or Demon range. Um, but this is just really fruity and light. It smells a bit like mango and I just absolutely love it for everyday wear and if I'm in a rush this is the first one that I grab because it's a really comforting kind of, um, I don't know, it's just a really comforting scent to me because it's my scent and I wear it a lot so I think that perfume can be really emotive sometimes and this one is definitely emotive for me. I just love it, really fruity and light with a hint of floral, which is, to be fair, a lot of what my perfumes are. Another fruity one is my DKNY Golden Delicious. Somebody bought this for me as a present, um, which is always a tricky one, I think, when you're buying somebody perfume that you don't know that they haven't already smelt. So, perfume's so subjective, I think it's a risky present, but it worked out for the best, because um, I do actually really like this, even though I hate the bottle, I just really don't get on with the bottle at all, but... This is kind of like a really fruity, fresh kind of apple scent, obviously. Um, there's a few in the range, but this one is the only one that I really like. This to me is a real kind of summer, fresh and bright perfume. And I do really like it, even though I hate the bottle. Next are two perfumes from Chloe. Um, they come in these adorable bottles. I love them. This was sent to me from Fragrance Direct. Um, and it's just a really kind of floral, grown-up scent. Whereas this one is their Rose collection. Um, and again, it's a grown-up floral scent, but it's really rosy. So if you don't like rose, you won't like this. I would recommend this one instead. But if you do like rose, this is one of my favourite rose perfumes. I'm a big rose fan, and um, it just smells amazing. They're both really, really light, really grown-up kind of scents, and they last for ages. And... They look adorable. Next is a perfume that I bought because I smelt it on somebody and it smelt really, really nice. Um, so I just went out and bought it and that's Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. However, on me, it's really, it doesn't smell anything like it smelt on the other person, which is a lesson learnt from me. Um, it's a musky kind of vanilla-y scent, which are the scents that I don't really go for. I don't really like musky and vanilla I like it but only in small amounts which is this is just about acceptable for me so I do still wear it but as you can see I haven't used a lot of it um, it's not one of my favourites at all I just wish I'd have smelt it before I bought it to be fair and the bottle again is hideous I just I just hate this bottle um, but it's a good one if I just want to chuck it in somewhere and I'm not really bothered about it uh, and it's more kind of a wintry kind of perfume for me um, that is as far as musky as I will go, I'm afraid. I'm definitely a fruity floral kind of girl. Speaking of fruity floral, um, my next one is Nina by Nina Ritchie. I smelt this in a magazine and fell in love with it, so I literally marched to the shops the very next day to go and sniff it in person. And it's just such a, a fruity, sweet kind of apple smell. Absolutely love it. Love the bottle on this one. And again, this is probably an everyday throw on perfume for me because I've had it for quite a while, so it's become a comforting scent again. And it's not that expensive actually. Uh, I know that they do a few more in this range but I haven't smelt them yet. This is just my go-to perfume if I'm running out and I need to grab something. I'll probably put this one on or the Givenchy. Um, it's just really light and floral and I love it. Penultimately, these are my Jo Malone fragrances. I was on a mission to try Jo Malone after so many people had had it on their blogs and I went into Selfridges and had a sniff around and the English Parenthesia was the first one that I bought. I put it on my wrist and I literally couldn't stop smelling it as I was doing the rest of my shopping and I had to go straight back and buy it. Apart from my Givenchy kind of comfortable scent, this is probably my favourite out of all of them. It's super fruity, super fresh, really light and it just, it smells so 
English. Like it just smells like an English country garden. It's absolutely beautiful. I find that the Jo Malone perfumes don't last that long on the skin. Not as long as some of the others, but um, they are gorgeous and they smell divine. They've kind of got a scent range that you don't really get with any other perfume houses, which is really nice. And the other one I've got is the Peony Blush Suede. This is really sweet, really floral, um, but I just loved it. I just really, really liked it. It's definitely a springy, summery kind of scent for me. I haven't used it as much as the English Pound Freesia because that is just, a, and again, it's an everyday perfume. But I just love these. I love Jo Malone. Um, I've got my eye on their green tea and cucumber scent as well. If you haven't, if you haven't smelt any of them, you've got to go down and give them a whiff. Um, because they're absolutely beautiful but they are quite expensive for what they are so um, maybe try out some of the little bottles first if you're not sure but I just absolutely love them and I've got some of their bath oils as well um, which are actually really lovely I've got the English Pound Freesia bath oil I'm just obsessed with that scent I love it and last but not least is another super super sweet one and that is Prada Candy now I got um, squirted with this when we were in Harrods with uh, with Joe uh, just before Christmas and he remembered that I loved it and bought it for me for Christmas and it is a really strong really sweet kind of smell as the name suggests um, but it's just a really sophisticated perfume but it is very very sweet so if you're if you don't like sweet you'll absolutely hate this but if you like floral sweet you'll probably like this as well um i just really love it it's a lovely gift as well it was nice that he remembered and i just think perfumes when somebody buys them for you they then remind you of that person i just think it's such an emotive present but um yeah really like this one but it's probably the sweetest one that i own and that's it for now guys so um i'm probably due to buy another perfume soon because i haven't bought a new one for a while so if you're watching this and you know how some of these smell or you've got some of these yourself and you think you've got the perfect recommendation for me then leave me a comment down below and let me know or tweet me at x amelia x and just give me a couple of suggestions and i'll have a look the next time i'm in debenhams or the next time i'm at the airport going on holiday uh, which i will be very very soon um so yeah let me know your fragrance recommendations and I'll give them all a sniff but if you like your floral and your fruity fragrances then any of these will be right up your street so I hope that's helped you guys in some way maybe try and find a new scent for you but if you enjoyed watching then don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below for lots more videos coming your way I upload every Wednesday and Sunday but as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye